Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Stats. Uh, today we're going to be starting on a new series uh, on how to build something like a stock exchange website. Uh, basically, it's a question and answer website. People can ask questions, people can answer questions. Uh, for every question you answer, you get a point. Uh, so, for example, here are a list of top questions. On answer, if I click on unanswered questions, you see a list of unanswered un un questions. If I go back to questions, uh, you see uh, this question has got 25 votes, 6 answers. If I click on any question, I can scroll down and uh, begin to answer a question. And once I complete it, I can post my answer. Uh, in a situation where you want to write some piece of code, you can click on this bit and begin to write codes and things like that. Uh, so we're going to be building something similar to the Stack Exchange website using the Drupal Content Management System. Uh, uh, so this is going to be the first in our uh, series on building this uh, kind of website in Drupal. Uh, to start out today, we're going to be working with the answer module. Uh, and the syntax highlighter module and the syntax highlighter insert module. So to start out with this tutorial, first thing, let's quickly download the answers tutorial answers module uh, from the Drupal website. I'll be using the drush command prompt. Uh, for those who do not know how to use the drush command prompt, uh, you could go here, download the file, and extract it into your sites or modules folder. Uh, so right to start out. Uh, let's quickly download uh the answers module so i download drush download answers uh, once i download that uh, i will enable my module all right let's enable our module drush enable answers clicking yes right now that our module has been installed uh as you can see it's also installed some dependencies uh, so if you're not using drush command line you want to download all these dependencies uh before you start so like let's refresh our website all right so if we want to add a new uh question we could go to add content and click on question uh, so we see uh two content types have been created the question content type and the answer content type uh so to start out uh let's create a simple question for now so I go to question content, add content, and I say question. So I'm going to say question one. This is going to be the first question. Uh, you could decide to notify on answer. Uh, for this uh, we'll, we'll look at this you can click on that and let's click on ask your question so once this is done our first question is created and just by uh, below below it the, the content we find a new link called post and answer right to, 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 to make this tutorial work properly we're going to be creating uh, another user uh, that we're going to be using to work alongside uh, this uh, the admin user so let's go ahead and create a new user add user uh, call it user one let's see a password of user one and user one and let's set it as authenticated and create new user all right user one user one Create new content account. Alright, so once this user has been created, let's open a new browser. Let's go to localhost. Click on stack. Let's log in with user one and user one. Click on login, and we should be logged on to our website right at the moment we, we, we don't see anything so uh let's go back to our page and let's go and check out our permissions right uh, so what permissions have been allocated to our user if we scroll down uh let's look at our content so uh let's say for example uh, question create new content and uh, a user 
authenticated user can create a new content yes can edit on content yes can delete on content yes uh, and i think that should be it for question and uh, let's see what else we can do we can say view user profiles we we'll set that and um that should be it for now and let's click on save click on save permissions <coughs> beautiful once the permission is saved uh, alongside um, this uh, answer module um, some views have been created for us if you go to the views and you should find question list answer to question user answers user questions uh, let's open this view And on this view page, we should find all questions. All questions will be listed here, unanswered questions will be listed here, search questions, search and add page. Uh, so all questions, let's open this in a new tab. And from here, we can see a list of all questions on our website. We can see a list of unanswered questions on our website. So if you look at the Stack Exchange, uh, we come to Drupal Answers, for example, we can see questions and we can see unanswered questions. So we want to make this our own page, uh, which is pretty easy. If we go to all questions, uh, questions, if we come here, what's the link? Questions slash all. Uh, so if we click on questions, copy that link. Uh, let's go to configuration. And let's go to site information. And we will set this as our own page, questions slash all click and save configuration and if we return back to our home page uh, we should find this as our home page now so if we go back to our former browser browser with a new user and click on refresh uh, man we should see are we logged in here my account yeah user one all right um right so now the user can see all questions unanswered questions right so this user also now can create a new question uh say for example question created by user one this is the question created by user one and uh, we'll click on notify and answer and ask your question all right once this has been created if we go back to our own page uh, we should find the question created by user one is also listed posted nine seconds ago question one created by the admin uh posted five minutes 11 seconds answers none so if we go to question one now uh, we should be able to view the profile of whoever uh, created this question come back to home page and if we also return here and click on all questions uh, now the question created by user one is listed just like here so for example if I come here this question was created by Steven if I click on Steven it shows me the profile of Steven uh, so that's what we've achieved here uh, by allowing uh, users view the profile of all our users and uh, now we can also see the posted that answers are none right uh, the next bit is uh, let's try and answer a question if I click on question one uh, no answer yet I think uh, user one cannot create an answer so let's check our permissions if we come back here permissions answer create new content yes edit own content yes delete own content yes and we will click on save permissions so with that uh user one now should be able to answer any question uh, once that's saved if we come back here and refresh we should find out that user one can now post an answer so let's post an answer We'll call this uh this is the answer 
answer to the admin question. Question. And I will click on post your answer. And now we should find out that uh, this question has an answer. If we come back here and we go back to our home page, we should find out now that uh, question one has got one answer. Uh, question created by user one has got no answer. So now if we click on the unanswered questions tab, we should find only one of the questions being listed here. Uh, so in this first part of our tutorial, uh, we've learned how to install the answers module. Uh, we've created two users, uh, the admin user and the user one. Uh, we set different permissions uh, and showed us how we can uh, set our own page uh, as this uh, beautiful view. Uh, in our next lesson, we'll look at how to work with the syntax highlighter so that we can begin to em probably embed piece of code into our answers. Uh, say for example, it's a programming website. Uh, we'll look at that in the next tutorial. Uh, so I guess I'll see you in the next tutorial.